stinks. Is this anyone doing? I'll smell that. Oh! This is like a dirty diaper. That's saying it. Oh my god. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's pot about it. It's been a couple of months. Uh, that was an impromptu hiatus, but we are back. Um, if you guys didn't already know, my name's Ren. My name's Bella. Kenya. And this is What Grinds Our Gears. The last time we actually showed up on our YouTube channel was for What Butters Our Beans, but today, you know what, over the past couple of months, we've been harboring <laughs> our um, rage, if you will. So, um... <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about how the school education system uh, is trash and it fails everyone, especially here in America. Um, especially me. Because I don't know shit. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I don't know anything. No, because that's... Um, <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm like being dead ass. Okay, so how we, as a collective, half of us are just like, oh, what are we going to do with this shit when we get into, like, real life? Like, you know, what is the, the, the proof theory isn't going to help me write a thesis for philosophy class. The proof, the proof theory, the proof theory isn't going to let me do anything other than prove that it is a triangle. Exactly. That it pissed me off. That was so pointless. Exactly. Like, like, I know the answer. Just let me do it. Like, they were like, prove this is a, prove this is a shape. No, prove it. But it's a shape. It's there. Prove it. You tell me it's a shape. So it's a shape. Like, exactly. Like, in our, in like, especially in my degree, how, why is knowing that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, how is that going to help me? Well, first of all, like, how have they failed on so many different levels? Like, you're talking about math, I wasn't even thinking about that. Geometry, f***ing history, the only thing that didn't fail me at was... Was what? That was amazing. <laughs> I did absolutely f***ing nothing. <laughs> I really appreciated that. I that. that. No, I used to be a librarian's assistant. The f*** that I do, I just sat there and scanned people's items. They basically taught me how to be a cashier. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Literally. Oh, no, okay. no, okay. Listen, listen. Cashiers. Okay. We talked about all that stuff that's, like, useless. You know what would be useful and they never taught us? What? Uh, first off, sex ed. Yes. We never got the closest thing we got to sex ed was literally telling us, "Oh, your body's gonna go through some unnatural changes." Oh, no. Was it about this fucking sticky clip that came out of my pussy? What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. We had to look that. We had to figure that shit out on our own. Download apps. Why the she just told me what ov ovulation was like a month ago? I didn't even know what it was. Yes. Oh my God. I'm being dead serious. Okay. I had a baby shower when I was in high school. <laughs> Sorry. Was, I took the class. It wasn't sex ed. It was um childhood yes. development. Can I rant now? No, because the only thing I remember learning about that, I was in like fourth grade and they brought me to an auditorium and showed a video about getting a period. Yeah. And, yes. and I didn't get a period till like three years later <laughs> or four years or something like that. No, I actually got mine when I was like 11, but like past the point. They showed us that video and I was like, damn, I, like, I already had my, like you guys are giving me fucking news. <laughs> and like, okay, let's not even talk about the fact that if like, we had sex ed, I'm like 99.5% sure that half of the kids in our grades wouldn't have gotten pregnant while they were in high school. Like, it was, no. like, it, this is such, that's like, um, it's something that should have been taught, but it was never taught. It's the same thing where, like, they should have taught us black history, like, and not whitewashed history, but it's just not taught unless it's, like, in February. That's really fucked up. No, yeah. it's beat though. What was it? Sorry, what was we talking about last night? And it was, oh, the how history class basically fucked us over. And the whole time, my history teacher, you know who he was? He went to, he got in trouble for the capital shit. Um, <laughs> uh, the whole time before he did that, I was like, he's cool, he's funny, he's like, he's hit, he's, he's extreme, the, you know? He's in with the teens. Whole time, this man was playing me because I don't know anything about history that's actually correct. She was explaining to me the railroad system, shit like that, and. The only thing I learned was equal but separate. About the trains, one was very fancy and the other one was shitty, but they're both trains, so hey, it's equal. But yeah. what I'm 
I'm saying is, we did a crappy job at teaching us about that stuff, because I don't know any of that stuff, and I feel like it should be, I don't know, it should be taught because I just feel dumb now. Because I'll be having talk with her. And you, you too, know. actually. And I just look stupid, because I'm, like, I'm saying all this shit like, I know the facts, and I don't. Like, it's not that you look stupid. They, I have never <laughs> thought of like, it. No, it's not even the fact that I'm like, oh my god, like, <sighs> Bella is so stupid. I have never once, like, thought about that. Okay? It's more of like, oh, um, okay, so Bella doesn't know this, so maybe I should tell her. Like, it, it's never like that, but, like, you're right. Um, especially that specific teacher, he thought that it was funny that the kids would call him, like, a communist and stuff like that. Because, like, you know how everyone in, like, when we were in high school, like, everyone thought, um, they finally understood the idea of communism and how communism could have been helpful, but the downfall was due to like American um, imperialism. Mm -hmm. um, and like they were all making fun of him, and like they were like, oh, he's a communist, ha ha ha. He was playing it up. He was playing it up so no one would suspect him or his son. That he was a communist. But he, no, he's not a communist because he, he's, um, he was pro-Trump, so he couldn't be a communist. He is a communist when you go, he's a terrorist. That's what he is. Oh, yeah, because he went to Capitol Hill. Sorry, he was a domestic terrorist. And while he's not arrested at this, and his son too, his son should be arrested. Yeah. But, and Gross. That, like, he himself is still teaching. He is still teaching. How? <laughs> Excuse me. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. No, all of us have pause. Oh, shit, we forgot to introduce our drinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have water. I have water. <laughs> I have cranberry juice with um, Smirnoff. With some Smirnoff in it. And she has wine. And it smells like <laughs> shit. It smells like a baby's diaper. And I haven't drink drank it yet because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I actually need to choke. I hope you know that. <laughs> oh my god. And I drink bubbly. Sponsored by What the prize are you? I'm telling you, she only drinks this stuff for clout. <laughs> it's actually good, I swear to god, bro. Alright. Right. That was um, a nice little intermission. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anyway. But um, education. Yeah, like he's still teaching. He's still out here. Like he's still tricking children and I hope everyone here knows that. Whoa, that is Pedophilia. Like, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him if that actually did happen. Okay. Because I'm not um, gonna lie to you. The, you remember? You remember this because you're the one who told me this, Kenya. You remember there was like a coach that would literally sleep with like the students. No, no. Hold on, that sorry. Bitch. That uh, white bitch. Yeah. She slept with all the football players. Yeah, oh, f her. Yeah, like. Oh, her. No. She's not. Yeah, and plus. I just would look at her and be like, you're a skanky bitch. Like, you're a skitch. No, it's not even the fact that like she, it's skanky or like it's slutty or that type of thing. Married. No, it's not. They're kids. I get they're the married. Kids. They're kids. Okay. Yeah. So they yeah. too. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying like the way she held herself, that shit was nasty. Like. Everybody thought she was a joke, especially me. Everybody. She's a fucking I don't think. I don't, okay. Um. This is completely different because, uh, like, you know, we're talking about the educational system, but, like, I feel like this joins in with it. Um, the fact that America itself romanticizes, like, um, romanticizes relationships between students and teachers, that's a little gross. That, because you have to remember, the teacher is an adult. The student is a child. They're you don't give a f That man was fine as hell, and I'll do it again if I have to. Don't say you're trying to call me out. No, I'm not calling you out because you never did <laughs> oh my God. No, but pause. But pause. Like, but do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this no, is... I get it. Like, it's a power... There's a power imbalance within these relationships. They're kids. They're kids. They're not... They can't consent. They cannot consent. They physically and mentally cannot consent, no matter what anyone says. And uh, I think a lot of people, like students... They know that the teacher is in control of their, not saying that that's the only reason that they're sleeping with him, but they also know that the teacher can control their grades and shit, so yeah. in the end, they could be using that as a... Yeah, and can you imagine how traumatizing that is, though, they grow up? Mm-hmm. Like, 
like prostitution. They're basically baby prostitutes. Paid with grades. It's not the baby <laughs> prostitutes. They're more of like they're like prostitutes isn't a good term for it because prostitution could equal into sex trafficking. Does that make sense? Um, okay, they're sex jacking. But they're they're victims. They're victims as well as like sex trafficking. But this is different because they're not being sold. Does that make sense? They're not being. No, but I'm really yeah, basically day, day, day. Every, oh, everything. Um, basically, everything that we did was younger is basically teaching us now in the future. Like how I was talking about the library's assistant um, teaching me to fucking <laughs> scan uh, <laughs> the cashier. No, I know it's Sorry. small, but like it's simple no, stuff no, that no. happens to us when we're in school that basically teaches us like life in the future. But it's not that we should be learning like. <laughs> Being an office assistant. I don't know how to cook. Look at me now. Office assistant. I don't know how to cook. Yeah. I should have learned that in school. It's supposed to be teaching me that. She's I know she's gonna laugh. I made a chicken the other day and she was complaining about it. <laughs> I thought it looked pretty good. And she's like, it's white. I saw a picture on the internet. That's how it looked on the picture. So it's not my fault that I wasn't taught. There's what I'm saying is there's stuff, even though it's just chicken. <laughs> stuff. The chicken's a bigger <laughs> no, because the school is teaching you, like... To fail. To fail, essentially, yeah. And you have to remember that the school the school is only teaching you one way. They're only teaching us one yeah. way when they should be teaching us multiple ways. Uh, another thing that they didn't teach us other than sex ed was, like, essentially adulting, which is, like, taxes, how to file out a job, how to get around the the fact that most of the jobs require experience but what if we were just fresh out of school and we don't have that experience exactly how, how do we get them to hire us like all that stuff they never taught us that they never taught us any of that they didn't tell us can we talk about, my bad. Can we talk about how like they've damn near only fucked our generation over because as soon as we got out of high school like everything was different for us like, you have more opportunities but less jobs so what the fuck are you talking about well you also have to take to consideration the fact that like in our for our generation or like our like year of graduation we graduated without the pandemic no no that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about how we graduated high school not knowing a fucking thing about anything mm -hmm. they took all the classes out that they used to require no yeah and now none of us know how to do simple shit that we needed before for a job that they still some require. We don't know how to do it because they stopped teaching us at a very young age. Oh, yeah, yeah. My mom had to take home ec. My mom had to do, like, take classes to figure out how to do her taxes. Yeah. Like, she had to do so They had to fucking do yeah, that's sex what saying. But now it's just an option. Saying, yeah. So it should be required. I choose to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I did. Like, I, know, did. I feel like it should be required because I think we'd be better adults and like in ways of taking care of ourselves. If that makes any sense, like if we, I'm pretty sure if like neither of you knew how to cook, you guys would just not cook. Bro, if what? Neither of us knew how to cook. Yeah, we wouldn't cook. I don't cook because I don't know. I cook. I clean. I'm the house slave of this place. Yes. <laughs> like, um, another thing, like, I feel like we should have been taught, but for some reason we weren't taught. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's getting the f out of me. Oh my god. Uh, you see how fast she ran back in that room? <laughs> what was she, she doing? Her... She was already in there. Okay. Well, someone just walked in. Where? Ugh. <sighs> Where? Where? Where, Dwight? Seems like you already know where. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, I was just explaining what happened. Oh, uh... I was looking in here. I was like, what the fuck? I was looking at the I was like, what the fuck? I felt like a muppet. <laughs> Anyways, so they taught us. They should have taught us ec. They should have taught us sex ed. They should have taught us taxes, finances, finances. They should have taught us. 
how to fill out an application. Um, they should have taught us how to job interviews, man. Job interviews. Yeah. 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 said I can work. That's basically. It. I said like, I need some money. He got me hired. That's what she did. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be a manager. I'm telling you, I have the fucking mouth, and I look innocent. But I'm always up to no good. <laughs> Uh, they also need to teach us history correctly. Like, I don't know. I feel like if we... So, like, yeah, like, I feel like if we knew history itself, like, for real, un, like, yeah. undoctrinated, we... I feel like we'd be making a lot of, like... We'd be making less of the same mistakes as they did before. There's so, like a time machine so we can actually go back to what was happening, cause- I feel like I wanna know. Yeah, I want to know what happened. Like, did that guy actually have wooden teeth? How does that work? Because I feel like it would get soggy. How is he? Te- did not have wooden teeth. He actually had teeth made from his slave's teeth. What? Wait, hold on. So, how, why did I think he had wooden teeth? Because they told us he had wooden teeth and he chopped up a cherry, tr- a cherry tree. That motherfucker. See? see? Yeah, because I don't even know sense. How are you chewing with wood? Like he. That doesn't matter. Never- How's it sticking in his gums? It's like it was supposed to work the same way like your granny has teeth, if that makes any sense. Except I was about to say she's coming at you. <laughs> except um it's his teeth was just made from slaves' teeth. They like, That's BS. Yep. I'm gonna go to that school and beat his behind because that BS school history teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think also unpopular opinion, but I feel like everyone should take like general psychology classes actually i do i would like to say that i don't agree with that but i actually do because i don't know i feel like some basics of like psychology and stuff like that could really help people with understanding and like um being more compassionate towards other people because not everyone thinks the same yeah because i think it would like it would help with like social skills and understanding communication and stuff like that yeah because if someone like I don't know how to explain it other than the fact, like, not everyone thinks like other people. Not everyone works the same way. Other people's brain just work differently. Not everyone. Saying some people are crazy. Well, some people are crazy, but some people just need help. I feel like my dad's mullet. Whoa. Hold on. Let me see that. Come here. I want to see your mullet. Get over here. He's about to go to the gym. Yeah. Like, um... I mean, you already have, like, child development classes for, like, those who think that they're going to, like, take care of kids when uh, they're older or stuff like that. But I feel like if people want to, like, take care of kids and stuff like that, even in the future as, like, parents, I think they should at least have, like, adolescent, like, psychology. Does that make sense? Because you see you see how, like, we grew up. Grew up. Does that make sense? Like, mm-hmm. um... For example, most of our parents like would like discipline us just like by like hitting our hands or like spankings and stuff like that. But if they took like uh, classes for like adolescent psychology, they would know not to hit us because that would like damage our brain. Even like the mm-hmm. smallest thing could like does that make sense? Because when we're in our infancy, our stuff is just more fragile. I have a hidden kink. Stop! Is that... No, I'm being serious. Is that part of me? That's got... No. no. Is that where it stems from? Where does it stem from? Uh, Let's talk about this too. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> no, you have a lot of problems. Pause. If you are under the age of 18, please exit now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk so, about it. No, <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's pot about it. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes sometimes it can from like a uh, coping response. Like let's say like someone a choking response. Coping. Coping. Uh, what is it? What? Like, let's choking. say someone went through something super traumatizing and they got choked. Um, their brain will sometimes say like, oh, this is this is gonna be our coping response and now we like it because of that innate fear. It's the same way with like um sexual assault. Um, a lot of people have like that whole thing where they want to role play that stuff because they're so scared of it. They're so scared of it, so our brain makes us innately attracted to it so that we can get over it. Does that make sense? 
That's crazy. Yeah. What about you? We don't do anything. <laughs> um, and then sometimes um, our brain can't our brain can't detect irony when we say stuff. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when people are like jokingly saying, "Oh, I have a piss kink," just to like be like, just to like push the news. Eventually, their brain will recognize that as something that's like not a joke. <laughs> that they actually do like it. Yeah, their brain will like make them like it. That's why when like, um, that's why when people say that stuff around, just like be careful. Your brain doesn't know that that's irony, and you will eventually develop that. That's crazy. Babes. So if I say I'm gonna eventually, I'll get my no, that's I'll different. Know. Yeah, you're right. I should, have said that. <laughs> I should not have said that. What I'm is probably gonna say that. That's so insensitive. No, you should oh just post God. it. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I have awful insensitivity. <laughs> I'm a bitch at heart. What's another question? Um, hold on. I'm gonna just ask all these questions. Yeah, since you have all the fucking. Oh, oh my God. Now. Now, I'm gonna... actually, wait, can I rant for a second? I'm actually so upset. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the other is fing dumb <laughs> truck. Fuck her, first off. Fuck her, and fuck everyone else. Because I'm like three seconds away from shanking people. Like, I put my shank back in my bag because I've been so on edge. <laughs> but that's beside the point. So, the other day, she came in. I'm sorry, you don't have a lot of bleeps because I'm pissed. <laughs> now, <laughs> me and Bella were at work at fucking Hersher's grocery market. Fuck <laughs> 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 them, first off. How the fuck I spent $5,000 and I only got a two? I spent a thousand some dollars, got 51. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? 51. No, this one kid got a seven dollar gift card. Oh. <laughs> like, you might as well just give me the f- money out of your pocket. <laughs> you run your fucking Toss a couple pocket. <laughs> like you already don't give us money for like you're exactly. gonna send me a happy birthday card. Like, the government do more than you. You didn't even bro, he stamped that <laughs> shit. move on. Yeah. He didn't even signed it. I That's know you don't want But anyways. So basically this customer came in. She came up to me talking about there's nobody at the office. There needs to be someone up there because this man's been waiting. I said, they're closed. That's not my problem. And I'll say it again anytime anyone asks. It's not my problem. I don't give a fuck. You know, I've had it up to fucking here with the bullshit. These customers, they can just come in, talk to us however they want. And the motherfucker, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be eating right now. You'd be fucking starving to death in your little fucking townhouse. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, it's going to remind her that's pee pee pee. Don't cut it all out. Okay, sorry. But, anyways, back to what I was saying, far as really. <laughs> Her dumb ass, Bella's, I'm talking about Bella's, she decides to get off her f***ing register and go help with <laughs> Now, I went up there because I was just fed up, you know, I'm ready to go on break, I'm ready to have a good time, get my senses back together. I go up there, this f***ing whore, she goes, thank you for getting help, I ignored her, so Bella asked her for her change again. She looked at me dead in my f***ing face and said, Thank you for getting help. I ignored her again. I heard you the first time. Just don't repeat yourself. She stared me fucking down. I walked away. Kept ignoring me. All I heard was, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> she said, well, that was very rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care. Oh my God. Are you the manager or acting manager or something like that? The whole time it was just come out. Nope. She said, well, of course. <laughs> And then she left. And then this old it was an old man. The whole time I thought she was a boy. <laughs> she was like, like she was like um, Jeff's mom. She has a flat on too. No. I heard that screech. That screech came loud and clear. But oh. her dad her dad was a veteran or something like that. This man was being polite every single Sorry about that. Basically. She looked like a man. <laughs> her her dad was a veteran. Very nice man. He's always nice when he comes nice to both of us. And he's always buying lottery tickets. Her ass. He was just trying to pay and I was having a conversation with him. 
I'm grabbing him, trying to pull him away, and I was like, I'm just trying to help this man out. I'll try to get him to stay longer, piss her off. And she just kept pulling him away, and I was like, I don't know. I just, people just want to be pissed off for no reason, basically, because have to say thank you because I wasn't trying to help and then I did help her because I was being nice and then she came back again threw her stuff on the register and said thank you <laughs> I'm not saying you're welcome because I wasn't planning on helping you she wasn't planning on helping her at all but I was trying to be polite so I did help her I wasn't planning on giving her any more seconds of my day <laughs> she pissed me off she really <laughs> did no and then the other <laughs> yesterday oh my gosh wait could this oh. be a new segment can this be a new segment yeah. You it can be. You I'm sick and I do it every day. I got 43 hours this week, <laughs> so I never do stories. All right, guys, <laughs> guess what? They with me. Guys, guess what? what? This is a new segment, and it's going to be called How Was Your Work Day by Kenya and Bella. <laughs> And it's gonna be the every single day because this is BS. I'm gonna just oh upload gosh. 10 minute conversations of us blown off. Because we, yeah. Because, yeah. That's oh, okay. <laughs> the other day, this lady pissed me off when she was screaming your name. <laughs> oh, I went why off on her. screaming your name? Bro, my so, full name, my full real name, not even my nickname. Full f- name, full name. Why were they she was like, you your name? She had a f- coin star, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First off, I was in there. I'm not helping nobody. <laughs> I really don't help anyone. I don't <laughs> Once Bella asked me to. No, I don't help, <laughs> I don't help a single f-ing person. First off, it's not my job. Second off, I'm busy. I was back there doing her f-ing job already. <laughs> I'm not coming out to help. This lady got mad. This other lady that works there came out screaming, Bella! Bella, Bella, Bella. She's not up here. I said it four times. I said she's in the bathroom. Like, give her the other the f-ing customer comes up. Where's Bella? Are you Bella? Where's Bella at? I need help. I said she'll be right fucking back. Piss me off. Why did? And then she came up there, and as soon as she walked by, I said that pissed me the f- off. She looked at me. She was, no, she because why was she acting like she was so entitled to the fact that uh, Bella over here had to help her? Oh, you know what the thing was? It was ten dollars and forty-one cents. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she could have waited. No, today she could pull that out of her wall. Oh god! Today this guy came as soon as I fucking opened, eight a.m. Right? Mm. Fucking asshole! He came. <laughs> he came in, just open, trying to cash a hundred and eighty-seven dollar. I just fucking opened, <laughs> and when I opened, I literally have no money because put everything in the fucking safe. Like, I opened with 50 fucking dollars. <laughs> I loaned myself twice. 200 fucking dollars. So you know what I did? I gave him his fucking coins, darn coins. Fuck you. <laughs> I gave him no cap from all coins. No. He was shit. Good punishment. I said, have a good day. <laughs> good punishment. He was like, being nice about it. I said, you can go to hell. Oh, period. It's every day with these people. <laughs> Yesterday, that one girl, she pissed me off. I said, do you want a bag? She said, um, do I look like I need a bag? You got 20 items. Oh my God. And then she was like, and I don't want the receipt. And I said, I wasn't giving it to you anyway. Piss me off. <laughs> All right. And that concludes today's. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Of how was your work day <laughs> from Kenya and Bella? I always a segment every time. <laughs> every time it's always got a little interlude that was our interlude okay. but how do we go from school, school education to piss kink to <laughs> because guys this is the point of the podcast we haven't done this in so long this is the point of us rambling because as we said before we started this why, why don't we have a podcast because every single time we get on a phone call this always this, happens. This always some shit. This always some shit. Like, oh <laughs> and you guys, like, you guys actually sound like asking yeah. good questions, so like, it's not even a problem at this point. Wait, I want to see questions, and I want to ask them to you. Can we do? I'm going to just list off a whole bunch of segments. Okay, can we do a segment where I find questions and I ask them, and you answer? Them? If I can answer them, yeah. And should be having all the answers. Oh my god. Okay, by the way, <laughs> pause. By the way, when Bella says that I have all the answers, she does not mean that literally. Um, 
I have ADHD. <laughs> Dumb facts will just stick in my brain. So I promise I'm not part of the government conspiracy like Bella thinks I am. Huh. You got all the answers this way. How, bro? How, how this way? Chill out. You bro, ain't got the Kanye, answers. Relax. You ain't got the answers. Bro, I'm asking you. You a ain't question. been doing the education, bro. You ain't been doing the education. Kanye. Calm down. You don't have the answer. You've been doing the education. Oh my god, I I just He's look at the philosophy like... books and the the psychology books that I have, and sometimes facts just stick. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have sorry. to. Hold on. This is something separate. But you was talking about all your stuff pack. Why is there stuff still hanging on the wall? Oh. <laughs> the magnets on the fridge. Yeah. That no stuff magnet. isn't gonna be packed. We're packing the small stuff right. now. Because that is small stuff. A, no, we're getting a U-Haul. Bro, we don't want the house to feel empty. We're not going to completely pack until, like, they, until like next week. I know she's not white. I'm not lying. White. What? Because, you know, they move all this shit in one day. No, <laughs> I didn't say one day. Worried. I said next week because we. No, I said I knew you're not white. She's not even worried because yeah. they're gonna move. <laughs> oh my god, bro, no, because white people tell me I'm wrong. So our roommate, how the fuck she pack up and unpack her entire fucking house this entire one day? Hell, me, we still fucking unpacking. We've been here since March, <laughs> and then. <laughs> Bro, my mom's not even packed, unpacked out of her f***ing house. You don't f***ing unpack everything in a That is too much. Exactly. And then when she got kicked out, she packed everything in a f***ing night. Not even. Literally. Yes. Yeah. It was like an hour, bro. Nah. Because- Everything was packed, which was in the truck. How the f***? Plus, you have to remember, since we moved into like a small apartment when we moved out here, we have less stuff to what we had before when we had like a house. No, because she came here with nothing. You remember that? Oh, hell And somehow no. her room was filled. Filled. Bro, my, was, my bed was on the fucking ground. Like. <laughs> but, <laughs> nah, anyways, anyways. Bella, if you don't put your medication doll away. Bro, this ain't your mind. I'm about to start doing that because that's genius. That like having the meds attached to your doll so that you remember? Yeah. Uh, you know so, what you do? You Anyways, guys. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Today we talked about how the child, the educational system fails us. How bad no. the workplace is for Kenya and Bella. How apparently, <laughs> apparently, irony cannot be registered in your brain. So be careful if you keep joking around saying that you like big dicks in your butt. You're gonna eventually what? like big dicks in your butt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, kiss goodnight to the homies. Good night. We will see you guys in the next installation of What the Minds Are Geared. Period. No, because you guys are supposed to say it. Oh, you're right. Um, oh my god. Well, next, what episode, are next episode, uh, special edition. Well, Butters Are Beans, special edition from me, special edition from Kenya, special edition, new song, special edition. Just tradition what? You don't want to pause because you're not gonna say it. I'll say it. Make sure you check out Ian Lloyd's new uh, EP, and it's dropping on November 18th, and it is his birthday. So make sure to pre-save it as his little birthday gift. We will leave links in the description below to his Instagram and to his Spotify, and we'll see you guys uh, whenever we upload next. Bye. Bye.